Hello, we'll discuss percentage today. What is percentage? Let us first of all break it down. Percent, per and cent. Normally we use per. Per is when kilometers per hour, meters per second, rupees per dozen. So per is anything that we want to identify on a base. Now what is this base? Cent. So it's per cent. Now cent actually stands for century or hundred. So anything which is on a base of hundred is called per cent. Where do we use percentage? Normally it is used for comparison where we are comparing two different quantities. Of course, comparison normally happens on the same base, which is the same units that we have. But then percentage is used for comparison. Ratios at the same time is also used for comparison. So in mathematics, percentage and ratios are typically used for comparison. In percentage, we will also see how ratios can be used interchangeably to make calculations simpler, understanding easier. Let's start doing it. 20%. Now, how do we write 20%? It is 20 upon 100. Let's simplify that. So 20 upon 100 becomes 1 upon 5. Let's look at other things. 1 upon 1. Now, this is a ratio. How do we use it in percentage? So 1 upon 1 in 200. That gives us 100%. 1 upon 2. That converts to 50%. 1 upon 3. This converts to 33.33%. 33 1 upon 4. That is 25%. Now this is the way that we convert ratios 1 upon x into percentage. It can also be used to convert 2 upon 3. So 2 upon 3 will be nothing but 2 times of 1 upon 3. 1 upon 3 was 33.33 percent. .33%, so 2 upon 3 becomes 66.66 percent. .66%. This is how percentage and ratios are interchangeably used. Let's see how much more we can do it. Now 6 upon 7. I won't go ahead and multiply 1 upon 7 into 6. 1 upon 7 is 14.28 percent. What will we do? Let's do 1 minus 1 upon 7. So it is 1 is what 100 percent minus 1 upon 7 which is 14.28 that gives us 85.72 percent. Now that makes it simple. Let's try something more. 32 is what percentage of 50. Now this is how typically you represent it or write it. Now 32 is what percentage of 50. So 32 upon 50 into 100, this gives us 64%. 7 is what percentage of 49? Now 7 upon 49 into 100, this gives us, okay, simplifying 7 upon 49 gives us 1 upon 7. That is where we find out, okay, 1 upon 7 was 14.28%. So directly we can get it. So something like 7 upon 49 or say 5 upon 45. Now 5 upon 45 is 1 upon 9. That makes it simple. So anything which can be simplified further and we can relate it to the percentage or ratios that we've learned can be converted very easily. So it's very, very important to mug up or rather learn all the ratios, simplify ratios 1 upon 1 to 1 upon 25 so that it makes our conversion easier and our calculations much faster for online. A is what percentage more than B? Now here, how do we calculate or rather what will be the base? Now we are comparing A to B. Now B has to be the base value because A has been compared to B. So B will form the denominator and how much more is the difference between A and B. So A minus B upon B into 100. This will give us the result. Let's take another one. A is what percentage less than B? Now again the comparison is with B as a base. So B will become the denominator. But A is less so it will be B minus A upon B. Now here it is important what is the base of comparison. A lot of times we make a mistake on what should be the base. X is what percent more than Y or Y is what percent less than X. Now whatever is being compared to that is the base. Let's look at more. 3 is what percentage more than 2. So 2 is the base. So difference between 3 and 2 which is 1 upon 2 gives us 50%. 4 is how much less than 5. So base is 5. So 4 and 5, the difference is 1 and a base of 5 gives us 20%. So 4 is 20% less than 5. Let's look at another one. What is 11.11% more than 9? Now 11.11%. If we go back, 1 upon 9 was 11.11%. So 11.11% more, which means that itself and 11.11% more. So if I say 9 
plus 11.11% of 9. Can I simplify it? Take 9 outside and say 1 plus 11.11%. Let us write in terms of ratios. So, 1 plus 1 upon 9, this gives us 10 upon 9. So, 10 upon 9 into 9 will give us 10. So, this number at the outset looked big 11.11%, but converting into ratios, it became simple 10 upon 9 into 9 gave us 10. What did we learn out of this? We learned that if a number is 11.11% more, we need to add itself to 11.11%. Now, if we want to add itself, it is nothing but if we write in a simple fraction, if we convert 11.11%, it gives us a fraction which is 1 by 9. So, if I add the denominator to the numerator, which is 9 plus 1 upon 9, this will give us the fraction which needs to be multiplied to the number. So, a simple addition of the denominator to the numerator will give us the new fraction, which multiplied give us the answer. Let us try another number. What is 12.5 percent more than 8? Now, again 12.5 percent, let us convert it into fraction 1 upon 8. Let us add the denominator 8 to the numerator. So, 1 plus 8 becomes 9. So, 9 upon 8. Now, we multiply this to the number which is 8. So, 9 upon 8 into 8 will give us 9. So, a question which looks slightly trickier or lengthier in calculation is so simple just by using ratios. Let us practice more examples here. 25 percent more than 36. So, 25 percent is 1 by 4. So, it becomes 5 by 4 into 36 which gives us 45. 14.28 percent more than 28. So, 14.28 percent gives us 1 by 7. So, then equations becomes 8 upon 7 into 28, which gives us 8 into 4, 32. So, that is the answer. Let us look at another one. 16.66 percent less than 30. Now, here it is a less than. So, 16.66 percent is nothing but 1 upon 6. Now, it is a less than. So, we need to subtract the numerator from the denominator. So, it has to be 6 minus 1 upon 6. So, this gives us 5 upon 6. So, 5 upon 6 into 30 will be 25. So, that is how we find out. Let us look at another example 22.22 percent less than 72. Now, 22.22 percent we have not come across this, but we have come across 11.11 percent. So, this is double that. So, it will become 2 upon 9. Now, that much is lesser. So, it will be 9 minus 2 upon 9. So, that is 7 upon 9. Now, 72 into 7 upon 9 will be nothing but 8 into 7, which is 56. This is how we can easily calculate a lot of other things.